Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and today I'm going to be going over part two of a series we're doing on if related formulas in your Excel spreadsheets. So, to see the first video, it's actually three videos before this one, and I'll link to it in the comments as well. So, what we're going to do is just pick up where we left off in the first video. So, I'd recommend to watch that first, but if not, we're basically using this template, which is for bonus calculations. In the first video, we did if formulas related to summarizing bonuses that have been paid for a company. So we're looking at total bonus budget by department, actual bonus paid by department, the headcount per department, and what is the headcount of employees that actually received a bonus per department, as well as the total bonus paid when the rating, performance rating, was higher than a nine. So that's all covered in the first video. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide that, but if that interests you, be sure to check out the first video. Today, we're gonna be going over using the if formulas to get average payout by grade, by department, the minimum payout by grade or department, and the max payout by, you guessed it, grade or department. So just a quick overview of how this template works. So this is the variable compensation bonus template that you can find at Time Saving Templates. And I filled it out with some sample data, obviously, in the bonus details tab. And how it works is the gray columns are the formulas and everything is going to calculate based on what you enter in some of the other tabs or pages that will tell it how you want the bonus plan set up. So for example, we have a bonus key looking at the bonus target per band as a percentage of the employee's salary. So 5% of annual salary, 10%. 15 or 20% depending on the grade. I also have another video that explains how to use this template. So what we're doing today is we're taking all the information, say we use this template to come up with all the bonus calculations, and we have this final column that we're using actual bonus paid based on length of service, so it is prorated too based on data hire and everything. So we're taking this sample data and now we want to analyze what's the average payout and that type of thing. So of course, we're going to be using an if formula for this example. So I'm just going to click up here, not just regular if, but we want to know the average if. So I would click on this FX button, go to search for average, and you'll find it here. There's average if, there's average ifs. We'll be doing the ifs version here in a second, but we're gonna start with average if. That's because we just have one criteria that we want to know if the average if the grade is an A. So first, it's gonna ask us for the range, which is the range of cells we want evaluated in our detail section. So I want salary grade evaluated to see if it matches. So I'm going to click to go to details and I'm going to find the column that contains the salary band or grade that I want. And, and then I'm going to click on the criteria. I'm going to just click in, in the cell where I list it out. This way when I drag it down, it'll update for the other grades. And then the average range. So if the grade is an A, then I want to know what column contains the average that I want. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the end. It's all the way here, the actual bonus paid. I'm gonna click OK and then we're gonna check on this value. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it down. So one way we can check that this is working, I can just filter on grade A and check that the average payout is 1400. So I would just filter on A is right here, 1402. And so that is correct. It's giving us the right information there. And then it's basically the same thing for the min and the max. 
we're just going to search for the min if formula. We only have one option, min ifs, not a min if, which is fine with me. So we're going to look at the, the cells where we want to find the minimum value. So I'm going to click back to the detail page and I want to know the minimum of the actual bonus paid. So that's going to be my column AC and then the criteria click back to bonus detail and I'm looking for my salary grade. Here it is right here. Column G. This is the whole column that I want evaluated and then my con criteria is the condition that identifies the cell that that we want to include when determining the min. So it's I'm going to click the grades I have listed here. This way I can drag the formula down and it will then update for B and C. And then if we had another criteria we could keep adding but for now I'm just going to click OK and then there we go we're getting the minimum bonus paid per grade and then we're just going to do the same thing for the max so the maximum range of the actual bonus payout column then i want to look at criteria we're evaluating is the salary band or grade and is does it match to the salary grade I have listed here. There we go. So now we have the average, the minimum, and the max payout. Everything looks accurate. What if we wanted to know by departments? It may make more sense to see it by grade, but maybe we want to know the grade within the department. So maybe I want to know operations. What is the average payout? within operations grade A. So now we have two criteria. So for this um, example, we'll click here and instead of average if, we want average ifs because now we're having two criteria, the department and the grade. So first we're gonna do the average range. So the actual cells we want the average in, and it's easy to use the box because it'll it'll literally just tell you because depending on which formula you're using, especially with the different ifs, sometimes they change the order of what you want, what they want you to place um, in each box. So for this one, I want the average of the actual and then my criteria is going to be so the range of cells is going to be the salary grade so column G and we're doing grade so I'm going to click here so far it's almost exactly the same as the chart above but now I'm going to look at I want it to look at grade A and is it in operations so we skip straight to criteria range 2 so you'll see the average range it's going to stay the same but we're adding a second criteria so we're still looking at the average of the bonuses paid First we did salary band, now the second criteria is going to be by department. So we want to select here the range of cells for the condition. So that tells us that we need the entire column highlighted when it says range of cells. So I'm going to go over here and look for department. Here it is in column K. And then my criteria in column K, I only want to know the average if the department is operations and then I'm going to click OK. Now to drag it down so I could look at grade B and C, I'm going to need to lock this operations. I'm going to find it right here and I'm going to click function F4. You'll see that adds a dollar sign in front of the B and then another dollar sign 28. That's going to lock that particular cell so that they all reference operations even as I drag it, but it will update to B and C. So that's giving me the average by grade within just operations department. And so I would do the same for min and max. And the good thing about adding it this way instead of typing operations in is that I can also change this if I then wanted to look at say the department averages for HR. 
then it would update. Um, you see these numbers updated as I change the department here. And then with the minimum payout, let me go ahead and do min ifs. It's going to be a similar. We're looking at the cells. We want the minimum value. That's going to be the actual bonus payout. So I'm going to scroll to the end. Actual bonus payout. And our first criteria, it wants us to select the range of cells. So that tells me I need to go and select the entire column. So the criteria we're looking at is the grade. So that's going to be column G. And my criteria, I want it to the grade to be an A, B, or C. Same as the table above. The second criteria we want is to look at the department. So it wants the range of cells, so that means I need to highlight the column, and I'm looking for the department. It's right here in column K, and then I'm going to select the uh, department that I have displayed right here. And I can go ahead and add the dollar signs in function F4. That way I lock that cell as I drag the formulas down, then it will keep looking at operations. Same thing for max, just so we can have a nice t completed table here. So I want the max rate value of the total bonuses, and I want to evaluate the range of cells. I want to evaluate the salary grade if it equals the grade here. And then the second criteria, the range of cells I want evaluated is department column k and if the department matches what i have entered in b28 i'll add my dollar signs and click ok drag it down and now we have the maximum payout for each grade we could also add a count if and that would tell us how how many the head count per grade within operations but that's actually covered in the first video, so I would reference that. So I hope that helps explain how to use more if formulas, the average min and max ifs, looking at different criteria. There's so many different analysis you can do with this, this data. And sure, you could also do pivot tables, but there's something about, it just looks nicer than a pivot table when you can have everything set up and you don't have to refresh any data, whatever gets updated or changed in this details tab, it's going to automatically update in here as more bonuses are added or things like that. So I hope that helps. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. You can find this template by going to timesavingtemplates.com and clicking on the human resources and compensation templates if you're looking for a bonus template or just click in the shop and then HR section and you will find the variable comp template is mm, towards the top, one of the top templates here. Also have some free resources if you go to timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources and if it's compensation or HR related, then just click on the little menus. We have a compensation metrics cheat sheet, uh, more for salary ranges and that type of thing. And we also have some pricing templates for small business, rental property, spreadsheet templates, as well as a free guide to getting started with Excel. So until next time, don't forget, I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using your Excel spreadsheets in your business and your HR department or with your rental properties. And I will see you next time.